this is how you type Japanese in Ubuntu. I'm using version 11.04 and let's get started. Okay, so you go to the top right corner over here and go to system settings. Go all the way down to the bottom where it says keyboard input methods. And you want to start this right here. Click yes. Okay, and you'll get the iBus preferences. Okay, and this is the one we're concerned about, the enable or disable. We're not really concerned about this right here. So actually I'm just going to click this and delete it. Okay, and I'm going to go to this one here, enable. I'm actually going to delete all of these shortcuts because you don't really need them. Okay, as you can see, it's blank. I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to add my own. And what I like to use is Control Shift along with the Z key. Control Shift. And I, while holding Control sh and Shift down, I'm going to push the Z key. It shows up here. I'm going to add it. And as you can see, Control Shift Z. Click OK. And this is what I have it set as. So now I can use Control Shift and Z to go back and forth between English and Japanese. I'm going to add this here. I'm going to go to Input Method for the Japanese. Empty. Add that. Shows up there. Click Close. Okay, almost finished. So now we're going to go to Language Support. And we're going to install Japanese. It's right here. And click Apply Changes. And yours will probably update with Japanese. I've already done this. So the next step is to go to iBus and click Close. And you're finished. As you can see here, it has the Japanese up here. Don't even need to touch that. So as you can see, now I can type in English. Oh, pushing Control, Shift, and Z. I can type in Hiragana. Okay, if I want to go to Katakana, finish typing, push F7. Go back to English. Finished. Okay, that's how you type in Japanese in Ubuntu.